More than 200 members of Hawaii's food industry demonstrated against a stricter plastics ban today. The proposal was heading to final reading, but has since been referred back to committee. Sarah Madison follows up. Sarah? Joe, the intent of the proposal is to ban plastic utensils and containers normally used for takeouts. But opponents say how it's written now would ban all plastic food packaging, which would cripple only local food manufacturers. No bread, snacks, and poi. That's what hundreds of business owners and employees of the food industry are saying could happen under a stricter plastics ban. They say it's a ban on all plastic food packaging that would only apply to local food manufacturers, not imported food products from the mainland. They get an unfair advantage. Mainland chip manufacturers, mainland meat, all imported goods will continue to bring plastics into our islands, while local companies have to raise prices, cut jobs, and even close their doors. It's something Mike Irish, owner of Holmes Enterprise and Kaoki's Lao Lao, says could affect them because they use mostly plastic packaging. Under the proposal, there are exemptions, but Irish says the process is unclear. You see how hard it is to get a building permit here? Just imagine how hard it's going to get to an exemption. Lawmakers say the measure was never meant to hurt local businesses. Last week, City Councilman Tommy Waters says he requested the proposal be referred back to the Public Safety Committee that he chairs. One of the things we're thinking of doing is just taking prepackaged foods off the table. And I don't want to commit to any uh, specific language, but we're looking at the uh, language that, the, uh, that Hawaii County uh, currently has in its ordinance with regards to prepackaged foods. Mayor Kurt Codwell says change can be difficult but a stricter ban on plastics needs to be done. But I think if we get it right, I'll be signing it. It's one of the steps we need to take to address our, our crisis in climate. Now, Waters says a draft will need to be finished by the end of this week to make it into the Public Safety Committee this month. If that does not happen, it could be pushed off but beyond December. Back to you, Joe.